Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at game credits. We had a comment in the last video, I believe, or a couple videos back, um, and I did some research on game credits, and it looks definitely like one of those that could have a very big future. Obviously, it's already got a short-term future. If we reload, uh, refresh the price here to get the most recent price on Coinbase, we see that it's at that 23 cent mark, a 47% increase pretty much over the last 24 hours. In the last week alone, we see a 95.69% increase. In the last month, we see a 197.69% increase. In the last year, a 585% increase. We're going to see why this increase is continuing, and we're going to also go over the numbers uh, as well. So before we do that, I want to say I am not a financial advisor. I will never give you guys financial advice. Remember to always do your own research. And remember, I do these videos unedited so that we can stay as transparent as possible with the most recent up-to-date prices, as well as we use Coinbase for beginners to quickly understand what we are talking about. It's much easier for beginners to understand these than the detailed uh, graphs with candles and all of that jazz. So we will continue to use Coinbase graphs for the time being. However, let's get into the numbers and then jump over and get an overview on game credits itself. Uh, so let's get started. So market cap right now at 31.3 million. The volume in the last 24 hours is sitting at 5.6 million. And then we have the circulating supply at that 136.8 million game. So this shows that there is a lot of potential for this game credits to continue in increasing. The price doesn't have to stabilize at this 23 cents. It could continue to rise, and that's definitely a possibility. If we look at the last week alone, we're seeing a huge increase. Obviously, stabilization around that 13 cent mark for quite some time, uh, just slowly, gradually making it its way to that 14 cents there. And then we had a very big increase here to that 15 earlier in uh what was that day? March 15th, March 14th, 11:30 PM. It looks like so very close. And then we go over here to the, uh, March 18th, 7 PM area. And then that's when we start getting huge increases, uh, and big things happening. And we see that it gets to that 23 cents here, um, just today as well. So we're seeing big things for game credits. We're going to continue to analyze this price chart uh, but before we do that, let's jump into the website itself, and then we'll give you predictions for the end of March, April, and 2021 as well. I do want to say, guys, in the description, you can always join the Discord community and talk crypto with me and the rest of the community uh, from Crypto Profit, obviously. And then we also, you can follow me on Twitter. That is a link in the description as well. If we go down to the website, the in-game currency of the digital era, they call it. Game credits, or game, is the in-game currency for the gaming industry. Using game, in-game items can easily be purchased with the power of blockchain technology. You can have full ownership over all of your in-game items, allowing you to sell them in a secondary market to other gamers or collectors. Furthermore, game credits brings a new level of innovation to the gaming experience by allowing gamers to stake their game on their favorite games. Gamers will then be rewarded with game rewards from the games they stake their game on, making it much more than just an in-game currency. In addition, game developers will share in new revenue streams from trade transactions. So you can start earning today. You can stake game, earn NFTs, use game to buy and sell and create your in-game items. This is a very, very uh, unique uh, a unique coin, really. Uh, it's one of those that definitely has potential. Obviously, NFTs are massive right now. Uh, we will see if that continues to stay at this level. I think NFTs are a little overshot right now. I do think they will remain for the next 100 years or so. Um, I think they're going to be big for a while. However, I don't know if the NFTs are, you know, I think they're a little overvalued at the moment, but that does not make game credits a bad idea. I think the coin itself is does have a long-term potential here, and that is always why I do my videos. I usually try to cover the coins I think have the longest potential as well as the ones you guys ask about. Um, you know, I'll, I'll usually probably skip over the ones that you guys ask about, and I don't see long-term potential because uh, who wants to make a video over a, uh, a coin that's going to end up decreasing in your idea or you know, it's not going to make it long-term or it doesn't look like it's maybe a legit coin even for some of the coins that have been linked. I've been trying to 
try to reach back out to you as well just to make sure you're aware of my thoughts, but uh, I won't make a video most likely over certain coins. And uh, that's because we want to be as transparent as possible. We want to be able to be as realistic as possible in these price predictions. Um, so I want good coins that I really do believe will continue to rise and have a long-term potential. So if we look, you can purchase game credits uh, or game, and you can see that it is available on Uniswap's probably the most popular here out of these, um, obviously BitBay, and then you can also uh, Hotbit, and these are all places you can purchase game credits. If we continue down, you also have the wallets that they, uh, they trust and they use, and then you have the partners as well. A lot of you guys know at least Polygon and Scale, um, and then there's always these three as well. And you can go down to the very bottom, we see Game ERC20 Smart Contract. So you can see how this all plays out. If you click it, you can get a better view of you know the smart contracts and the other scan completely uh, legit as possible. And you can actually go to the news and you'll find out that up your game tournament, Game X uh, Splinterlands. So they actually have tournaments um, and the most recent tournament they've done I believe this is maybe their first one as well, yeah, to announce the first of four upcoming live tournaments. Uh, they have first place, 150 game, second place, 115 game, and so on and so forth, down to the eighth place, you still get your, uh, you still get a prize. So this is uh, single elimination, best of three, Splinterlands level limit set to bronze, no legendary monsters. So it's a pretty cool idea. I hope that they are able to make this bigger, obviously with bigger known games. However, it's great that they're starting with a smaller game, really to test the waters. Uh, and I think the next one could be huge. Um, I mean, I think they have a lot coming up their sleeve here. I think the idea of you know gaming and a coin really working together does work very well in this industry. I think the NFT space as well, obviously, is going to work well because of how big the boom is. And I think this is a long-term potential coin and we're going to go back to the game credits uh, price chart here and we're going to give you guys the prediction for the end of April March and 2021 so I like to do these videos as quickly as possible so we will try to get through this fairly quickly but if we look back at the last week we see that it is at that 23 cent mark let's give it another refresh really to get the exact price we were looking at so it looks like 23 cents is pretty solid price right now um, obviously that'll move over time um, but if we look at the price you're seeing a very solid increase over the last 24 hours like it's recovering very well from this big dip um, it actually is going to be even higher than it previously was at that uh, 22.3 cent mark so i believe game credits has what it takes i think by the end of march we see game credits sitting at a stable 26 to 27 cents that may not be as much as you guys were hoping however i want you guys to know i do try to keep these realistic and a little bit lower than my actual expectations on each coin uh, i want to keep it realistic and stay away from the hype as possible so um, in this case i think 26 to 27 cents if we can stabilize there that's going to mean a big future in april i think april if they continue to announce new projects and new tournaments and uh you know if game credits actually become bigger and bigger and better uh, obviously it's going to come down to to the NFT space as well, as long as that doesn't, you know, shut down pretty much, as long as it continues to rise in, uh, in popularity, which it seems to be doing, uh, I think game credits could be, become a huge, huge ordeal. I think this could definitely become a uh, 40 to 50 cent coin in the end of April. That's definitely a uh, price prediction and a very, I mean, a little bit of solid price prediction because I'm, I'm undercutting a little bit there. I think that game credits really does have the potential to be even much more than that 40, 50 cent range or 50, 60 cent range by the end of April. So my price prediction for the end of April is that 40 to 60 cent range. I also think, as we had my phone alarm go off there, I also think that uh, by the end of 2021, um, I think that this could definitely become a dollar coin. I think this is not far away from a dollar coin. I think all it takes is a few more big tournaments, a few more big NFTs that came from game credits and uh, you know continues to transfer from there. A little bit of news, a little bit of projects, a little bit of updates, and this thing is on its way to that dollar amount uh, in no time. I think my, 21, my 2021 prediction is going to be at that $1. Uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. We will be having a stream um, I think that's going to be on Sunday around, you know, two o'clock. So if you guys want to jump in, it's Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern time. I should probably tell you that uh, it'll be right around there. So if you guys want to jump in for the stream, make sure you get on YouTube and uh, check it out. We're going to look at all the coins you guys have for me to look at. And then also I'm going to probably be giving away uh, some coins as well. So definitely, 
you know, join the stream for that. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate everybody stopping by. Make sure you hit the like button, smash it as much as possible. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And then also give me a comment and uh, let me know how you agree or disagree with my price prediction. And hit that notification bell as well because you want to get that information as fast as possible before, you know, some random guy ends up finding it before you. Um, you know, we want this information to get to the loyal subscribers first. So thanks again, guys, like I said, and I'll see you in the next one.